Today on Dame's World, we're going to do an episode of Mythbusters. We're going to debunk a myth that has been long-standing for years and years and years and years and years. And it's so felonious that I'm perplexed that it still stands today. But I'm not that surprised because they try to keep this notion lasting to prompt their deeper narrative it's your boy dame subscribe to dame's world if you haven't the notion i'm talking about is can black cor- can black athletes play the quarterback position or more underlying message can black quarterbacks lead because that's essentially what's being said the quarterback position is the position ascribed to someone who has to be a leader, a leadership position. And when I watch TV, I see Skip Bayless say, oh, I talked to a GM, and the GM told me he doesn't believe black players are meant to have the mental capacity to play quarterback. This is why I'm doing Mythbusters, because that undertone is widespread through the league. He's not the only one. They said Lamar Jackson... Should be a receiver last year, one of the GMs, right? And when you look at the draft, you see Deshaun Watson on the board and you see Mitch Trubisky, and the Bears have a higher pick. They take Mitch Trubisky over Deshaun Watson, though Deshaun Watson murders in college. Lamar Jackson murders in college, but let's take Baker and Darnold. <laughs> because the undertone that you was a black player can't play that position you don't have the mental capacity we are busting the myth that black quarterbacks or black players don't have the mental capacity just through evidence just through anecdotes you look at russell wilson immaculate and before any of you guys throw the mixed narrative oh it's not his black side and the thing i'm not claiming it is black side i'm just saying you said we couldn't do something i'm showing you people who fit the bill that are doing it so if you want to pull the halves these notion or he's not full afrocentric notion let me just spew this rhetoric back to you you don't pull that when we're pulled over by the police doesn't matter if you're half one fourth one tenth if you identify from pigmentation as an afrocentric person you get the treatment socially of an afrocentric person So don't use it in reverse to benefit you and then play the social narrative, deny the social narrative that it don't matter if you was one-eighth black, you were considered black and you were given less rights. So yeah, we taking all part, half, holes, whatever you want to call it, all of y'all is family. We taking them all. So Russell Wilson, murderous. Rarely mentioned as the best quarterback in the league until this year because he's been murdering for three, four years straight, five, six years straight. But must be acknowledged for some reason. Late in the draft, late draft pick. Pat Mahomes. I think Darnold and Baker got picked before Pat Mahomes, if I'm not mistaken. Killing, balling. Breaking records at a young age. Deshaun Watson, people forget he almost had one of the greatest rookie seasons ever before he got hurt his rookie season. Now he's coming back showing you I can do things that other players can't. This is Mythbusters because not only can Pat Mahomes, Deshaun Watson, Lamar Jackson, Russell Wilson, Jacoby Brissett, Jacoby backup came, played, coach can't win no more. Teddy, Teddy cool. I fuck with Teddy. I'm not the biggest fan of Teddy, but Teddy was 5-0 in New Orleans. Breeze come back losing shit. <laughs> Breeze is my mans, but, you know, he's older. So, But you see these black quarterbacks flourishing in the league. And it just it begs the question, why is that still a narrative? You look around the league and you be like, okay, the weakest quarterbacks that I see, I see Mitch Trubisky, I see Sam Darnold. Talk about he's seeing ghosts and shit. The weakest quarterbacks, and I hate to make it a racial implication, but I didn't make it that. Y'all made it that when y'all said we couldn't leave. So I'm just following up on y'all's narrative. Because now, 2019, you see the year of the black QB. 
the leading stat and everything, you're going to see a black quarterback doing. The MVP, you're going to see a black quarterback. Lamar Jackson is playing out of his mind. And they say based on that old toxic seed that we don't have the mental capacity that he should have played receiver. He's, he's not ready for that position. You see how quickly they doubt us. Vince Young, great rookie season, but he gets doubted. Mike Vick, he can't throw inaccurate. The inaccurate label gets put on us. The they only run gets put on us. And Watson, Mahomes, and Russell Wilson couldn't be better examples of how we just don't run. <laughs> we can. You need that in your clip now. That blitz coming, you're sitting duck in a pocket. It's not convenient. It's not apt to be Tom Brady now. It's apt to be somebody who's like, ah, I got to tuck it. Give me, let me get you seven. Let me get the first down. <sighs> Shout out to Pat Mahomes. Shout out to Dak Prescott doing his thing. Shout out to Russell Wilson. Shout out to Deshaun Watson. Shout out to Lamar Jackson. Shout out to Teddy Bridgewater. Shout out to Jacoby Brissett. Shout out to all these quarterbacks dispelling the myth because I'm doing myth busters, but they did all the science behind the myth busters. Black quarterbacks is where it's at. Go get your one. <laughs> shout out to A-Rod, though. Shout out to Tom. Shout out to Wentz. It's still balling of all ethnicities, but I just do this because they told us we couldn't do this. We couldn't lead. And now you see it at its height. So, myth. Consider that motherfucker busted. It's your boy, Dane. Peace out. Black, the year of the black quarterback. Let me know if, if that's your thoughts and your sentiments as well. And ironically, while we have the year of the black quarterback, one or two or top three running back is a white running back, something we've never seen. So shout out to that. Shout out to McCaffrey dispelling the narrative that white people can't get out in that backfield. Debunk the stigmas that suppress us and hold us back. We're beyond the stigmas. We can do whatever we please, given the level playing field, no matter who you are. You are capable. You are worthy. And the prime example is seeing these black quarterbacks thrive when they were told they couldn't. Dang.